Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and the Washington Commanders just signed linebacker John Bostic and also released linebacker David Mayo. So I'll give you guys my reaction in this video, a little bit of a rant later too. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content on the road to 9,000 subscribers. Also, turn on those notifications so you never miss a video, a lot of videos in the last 24 hours and probably in the next 24 hours as well and hit that like button. So... We'll, we'll get off with the basic stuff first. So the Commanders released David Mayo and Dejon Harris to open uh, roster spots for the two cornerbacks claimed off waivers. Well, really, I mean, Curtis Hodges was released, or not released, he was put on IR before. So th there was already one spot open, and then this created two more. So, and, you know, if you claim those two corners, so you have one spot left. And they used that for John Boss. Like, I have no problem with them releasing David Mayo at all because I think he's like a below average backup linebacker in this league and an okay special teams player. But if you're going to release him, you better you know replace him with someone significantly someone significantly better and I don't think they did that. So Stephen Wino said the Washington Commanders are bringing back veteran linebackers John Bostic, a source tells the AP and I think Kyle said it's uh, going to be official tomorrow and i think bostic is probably an upgrade over david mayo but like it, you could debate it like you could debate it but i do think he's a little bit of an upgrade over dave mayo and so you know at least they got a little bit better he's got veteran experience he's a you know good leader like really really good leader all the linebackers have you know spoken really highly of him got injured last year the thing is he's just not great at least he's not coming in to start um, you know, because the last couple years when he was here, he was here as a starter. And let me just um, get John Bossick's stats up here. But the last two years, he was the starter for the Commanders, and he just was not good, in my opinion. Like, sometimes you get some pressure on the quarterback, but like, he's just slow. He can't get, you know, sometimes misses tackles, not amazing in the run game. So you look at his career, he's been in the league for a while, since 2013. And really started playing a ton for Washington. Like that's when he really, or I would guess Indy as well because he started 14 games. And with Washington had 120 tackles in 2020, three sacks, had an interception. Was like, you know, he was okay at times, but like you could tell he wasn't that great. Like there was times where he was really, really bad. And 2021, he was pretty awful for the commanders when he played before I think what he tore is he tore something maybe his rotator cuff or something like that but he's just not good enough at least it's a backup this time my real problem with this and you know uh Kaim said right here Bostic was one of the two names I've heard off in this offseason as possible vet backups they knew they could bring him in at any point and he know the defense by cutting Mayo. They have an opening for a backup Mike Backer. So I got a couple problems with this. First off, if you liked John Bostic better than David Mayo, why the heck do you wait until August 31st to sign him? Like David Mayo has been on the roster for a long time, for like this whole off season basically. John Bostic has been available almost the entire offseason besides a brief, brief stint with the uh, New Orleans Saints. I think he played one game um, in the preseason. He was there for like 10 days max. So you had the whole offseason to do this, to make this move. And you wait till August 31st. Like if I just don't understand the thought process because if you think a player is better than a player on your roster... And he, it's basically the same situation because they both know the defense. Why are you keeping the worst player on the team and waiting until 12 days before the season or 11 days before the season to get the better player on the team? And yes, he knows the defense, but still, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be still a little bit of an adjustment for him. You know, it's been a while since he, you know, it's been over a year since he played here. There's some new teammates there, so like, it's gonna be still a little bit of an adjustment for him. I just don't understand. I don't understand the thought process. I don't understand why they didn't do this six months ago if they liked John Bostic over David Mayo. Uh, so that's my one, my, my main problem. Other problem is like, why does this team continue? 
to sign, let's put it nicely, not amazing players that used to play for them, but then when a great player that used to play for them is available, they never sign them. So that to me is just a little bit confusing and like, I, and I, I like for a lot of the times, I really don't care if the player can play, then bring him here, but just the like consistently bringing back the same players this, and, and expecting the same results is just, it's not going to happen. Like they have brought in like basically the same players every single camp and nothing really comes of it. Like for some of the players, sure, but for the majority of it, they can, you know, consistently bring in the same, like from like 55 to 80, a lot of those players are the same players every year. And a lot of those players never make the roster. And it's just like, you got to bring in some different faces at some point because these guys have been here for two, three years and they haven't made the roster. Like, just, it's not working. And uh, yeah, I, I'm fine with them bringing in some players. Like, in some situations, like, if they would have brought back AJ Klein, or I guess not brought him back, but he used to play for the Carolina Panthers under Ron Rivera and played for, um, you know, in Buffalo under Sean McDermott. I would have been fine with that because that is a solid player, a good, very good backup to okay starter at the linebacker position who knows the system, knows everything, clearly better than John Bostic. Like that is a guy I would I would have been happy if they signed. Maybe they'll still sign him. But then again, if they sign him on August 31st or September 1st, September 2nd, I'm just going to ask, why didn't you do that, you know, a month ago, even two weeks ago, or six months ago, because you knew the linebackers on your team, you knew Milo Eifler wasn't going to, you know, be a Pro Bowl linebacker or a good backup, you knew the same thing with, you know, um, Dejon Harris, Scooter Harris, with Khalid Cuts, and you knew that, let's keep it real, they knew for a while that none of these guys, besides maybe Jamin Davis and Cole Holcomb, are going to be good starters in this league or good backups, so I don't know why it took them till now to realize that they could have made moves way earlier. There was great line, not great linebackers, but there was good linebackers available, and there's still many linebackers available right now that are better than you know their 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 depth right now in John Bostic and uh, Milo Eifler. Like you know Alexander Johnson, he's a good linebacker. Like he's a good starter. You have Joe Schobert, who's okay, which again is better than what we have. Uh, at the depth position at linebacker Dante Hightower there's like there's other guys there's definitely other guys and before that there were definitely other guys Anthony Barr and some others as well so that's my main gripe with it I think Bostic is better than David Mayo for me it's just like how they did things how long it took them to do this when they could have done did this six months ago. So that's just me. I know some people are going to say I'm overreacting. And for the most part, I still think like John Bostic is better than Dave Mayo. So they got a little bit better. But at the linebacker position, they need to get a lot better. So that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'm sure there's going to be more videos in the next 24 to 48 hours. Peace.